<laughs> I'm watching another series, Major Crimes. So, <laughs> sorry. So they show this one robbery where the guy enters the shop, right? It's like a whatever store, grocery store. He looks at the camera and then he pulls down his mask and then he walks to the counter and pulls out the gun. <laughs> And everybody looking at the at the footage is like, what what kind of genius is this? <laughs> he first shows his face, and then he puts on his mask. <laughs> Imagine if you're in that shop store or bank or whatever, right? Where the where the guy comes in first, looks at the camera. And then pulls down his mask and then walks to the counter and takes out his gun. And then maybe he shouts everybody down. And you in that shop and you look at that and you think, oh shit, we're all gonna die. <laughs> because if the guy's that stupid, me bro. I mean, come on. But it, it seems to be that we are really in the age of stupid criminals, like a lot of them. Well, people are just getting desperate, you know, so the stupidity shows, like as as the prices are soaring and the jobs are fucking more minimum wage and people are more unhappy and more fucking wars and guns on the streets, you get and less empathy and uh, taking care of people, more family structures broken. <laughs> So what you got is like people are out there, they just don't give a fuck anymore. Human life is most worth nothing. You just want money. Money's the next goal, the best goal, you know? Uh, I was talking to my mom about it, dude. It's like, Yara, you you have to be scared that you're like the most common. Most people are afraid of, of getting uh, murdered by their wives and husbands. You just like, what? Maybe even their kids, their brothers and cousins. You're like, what the fuck's going on, dude? It used to be you could trust your family. You get what I'm saying? Family structure was all it was about. You understand? Now you can't even do that anymore, dude. Ah, that's really... But yeah. <laughs> Stupid fucking idiots who think they're going to get away with dumbass crimes for the gain of what? And then they get caught and then they're like, uh, I thought, I thought, I, but, uh, uh, you know, shasas. <laughs> if you look at the, the news these days, you'll see how many people are so stupid to record their crimes and then post about it and brag about it. And I mean, it's been like that how many years? That was like, that's just the history of crime. You get what I'm saying? It's like, it seems that your brain is, as a human, wired for you to like talk about stuff like that because you are automatically traumatized. And if you're not, then you're some kind of serial psychopath killer. You get what I'm saying? Well, who has no kind of emotions or can't deal with uh, emotions at all. But I mean, what, what is this about, right? Nah, I think beneath it all is this attention. The wrong kind of attention uh, drawn to to uh, teach kids what uh, is important in life and what it isn't and what isn't important, you know? And that happiness is it's all about happiness and your personal own happiness and well, don't let anybody stand in your way of your own personal happiness. You know, it's like, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, dude. Uh, I don't ever think happiness was my uh, goal or whatever. You know, my lifestyle was always about purpose and impact from my teenage years, from my from my childhood years. It's just the way it is. But yeah, everybody's different, man. We can't all be the same. We, we don't have to, so it's, it's good we're all different. It's just so funny. <laughs> You walk into the shop, you show everybody your face, then you pull down your mask, and then you like everybody down. <laughs>